What is up guys and welcome to part 2. In this one we're going to be installing the iron source uh, into the project and then testing the demo script with a live device. Let's show straight into it. Right, so this is our scene. Uh, so it's this is just a representation of where your project would be. Now your project can be either at the middle, uh, the start or the end. And you end up being interested at any point. Now what is slightly different is the fact that you wouldn't use buttons to load in banners or destroy the ones or load the, or use the buttons to, for example, sh load and show the interstitials. You would use a button for the uh, rewards in that. Um, however, though, for the other ones, they are solely buttons to demonstrate the code required to actually load them and integrate them and destroy them, show them, blah -de -da, -de da So they are just there to demonstrate to you the code required. So this is a bare bones project, and as it stands, we've got no packages installed, so we do need to integrate in uh, Unity plugin. So the best way to do that uh, is to go back to our dashboard, go to the knowledge center, which is on the left here, at the bottom, iron source SDK, we're then going to hit on Unity plugin integration under the Unity tab. And we're going to scroll on down to step one. So we're going to download that. We're going to drag that into our Unity project. And we're going to let be met with this lovely screen, which looks scary, but it's not. Click that import button. And it will ask you to install an additional package, which is the mobile dependency resolver, as you can see just here. Uh, we click import on that. That is very important. Uh, not only is that important to the actual uh, workings of the uh, entire mediation package, but it's also quite after the root of, of, of our of issues. So that will now take a second to install. Fantastic. So that's all now installed. Now one thing you will notice is you have two additional here, you've got iron source and you've also got mobile dependency resolver. If we go up and we're up to the top here, you've also now got a, a time now for and mediation. So if we click that, go on integration manager. We now have all of the adapters where we can quite easily and very quickly install. So for now, we're just going to install the Unity Ads, which has now been installed. There we go. Now, every single time we make any changes, what we're going to want to do is first off, make sure that we are in the Android developer platform. You can tell because you've got the little Unity logo just there. Then click on Assets, Mobile Dependency Resolver, Android Resolver, and then Resolve. Now, you are likely to get an error if you're using Windows and your first time running it. Now, I have a very simple and very quick solution to this one. If it's get stuck at zero and you get you are presented with a Win32 exception, which is just here, which all it is is it tries to find a file that does not exist. So in the description will be a link to that file, uh, which you've just got to copy and create a a version in the folder, which I'll show you how to do now. So what we do is if we just clear that down, if we go to our Unity Hub and show in Explorer our project, go within there, there will be a folder called temp. Now this temp folder only runs when the actual uh, file is open. We then go to Play Services Resolver Gradle, and this is the folder where it's currently trying to access. Now, you will notice there is a Gradle W file, but that is not a dot back, and we need that file there. Now, what you do want to make sure that you have got enabled before you progress is just under the U, show, and make sure you've got your file name extensions selected. You want to be able to see the file name extensions. So, for example, you've got Gradle.properties there, you've got settings.gradle. Uh, we want to then be able to create a new text document, I'm going to leave that for a second, click into it, 
Now, this is the link which is within the uh, YouTube, which is in the description. This is the link to the Gradle file. If we press Control A on there, and then Control C to be able to copy it. Now, if you were on an iOS phone platform, you won't get this error. Um, it's just a uh, weird error which I we always seem to get, and this is the best workaround I found for it. So we're gonna copy that, go into the text editor, and paste as so just there. Now if we click save, go back into our folder. This new text document, we're gonna rename this one, but make sure you include when you highlight the .txt file at the end. We're then going to call this one Gradle W.bat. Now you know this has worked because when you press enter, it will say that the file might become unusable. Are you sure you want to change it? Yes, we are. And then you also get this little icon with like some cogs in it. So now if we go back to our Unity project, click on the project tab, right click and press re import. And just wait just a second. It will now re-import the stuff, including that file that we've just added. Fantastic then. So now if we go to edit, uh, edit. Yes, so now if we go to assets, mobile dependency resolver, Android resolver, and then click resolve, you will now notice that it actually leaves 1% and you now get this box just here. If you don't get this box, means fact there is an error, but it hasn't actually spat out the error. So make sure you do get this resolution succeeded box. Uh, if you don't, there will be an additional video to uh, troubleshoot it a little bit more, uh, which will be probably episode, sorry, part 2.1, uh, where the troubleshooting will be happening at, the, uh, at this stage in those videos. So fantastic then. So we now have no errors. You may get a warning that just says that uh, some things being de de being depreciated, uh, but that, that's just a warning. You don't need to worry about that. It's just warning us the fact one of the clones are being discontinued. Right, so now that the ads is integrated, what we're going to do is we're going to install just another package for if you are on Android. And that is so we can actually test the uh, app to make sure that if we do get any errors, we are able to actually view them in real time. So we go to Package Manager, Manager and go to Unity Registry. Scroll down until you get to Android Log Cap. And I recommend installing that because that will give you instant idea as to where the code's failing uh, if you do encounter any errors. So now that is installed, that's all good. We know the fact that it has resolved itself. So now let's actually test our integration into the project. So we're going to back to the project tab just here. Click on the iron source folder and then click on the demo scene. You'll see the fact there's just some assets here. We double click into that scene, go to file build settings and add open scenes here. We're then just going to drag this one above the main scene. And just so it loads in first in the app. So what I would also very much like to say now is when we load in, so we press play on here, we will get the it come up. However, Unity level play doesn't work within the editor the same way Unity ads did. So click on show video. We'll see the fact it's got a load of, um, you know, information come up, but it doesn't actually show us that it works. So what we're going to do is we are going to connect it up our phone. So if I grab my wire, connect up my phone, transfer mm -hmm. files, and then go to file, build and run. And we're just going to call this from test.apk. Obviously name it whichever you'd like. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a live view of my phone, which is going to load up. Hopefully this side. Um, but yes, I will. Fantastic. So here it loads up now. So this is the iron source product that's here. 
If we click on show rewarded video, you'll see just that we have a rewarded video, which is fantastic. This means that the integration side of everything works. So everything behind the scenes to enable you to see level play to work in the application works. If at this point you are not getting me these ad these these videos, then make sure you followed everything correctly. And chances are, and the chances are, if you are not if it's not working at this point in time, then it's probably something to do with the dependency resolver. So yeah, this is the end of part two. Now, if you are getting any errors or your ads haven't loaded up at all. Uh, then what I'm going to 